Where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. God has given us unlimited treasures in His Word. Every time we open it, we can discover a new treasure or admire an old one. What will we find today? Here's Carla Early with Treasure Hunt in the Word. What would we do today if an innocent friend was killed and another was in jail awaiting execution? Would we start a protest? Try to stage a jailbreak? Try to get people riled up? In Acts 12, Herod Agrippa had killed one of Jesus' disciples, James, and now he had Peter in prison about to kill him too. What was the church doing about this? They were praying earnestly for Peter. Back in their day, protest might have gotten them all locked up. They weren't helpless or hopeless, though. Remember who's on their side? God, the almighty, all-powerful creator, he was in control of everything, even the Romans. He'd shown his power time and time again. The jail had 16 soldiers, thick walls, chains, and gates, but Christians had prayer. Perhaps they were praying Proverbs 21.1, The king's heart is in the hands of the Lord. Like rivers of water, he turns it wherever he pleases. Perhaps they hoped God would change Herod's mind. Perhaps they thought about Isaiah 43 too. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you, and through the rivers they shall not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, knowing that God would be with Peter no matter what he had to endure. Maybe they prayed Second Chronicles 32, 7 and 8 for Peter, that he would be strong and courageous and unafraid, because the Lord was with him to fight his battles. Or Psalm 91, where it says, He shall cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you shall take refuge, and you shall not be afraid. They didn't know what God would do, but they prayed he would do something. When you have something on your heart, like a friend in trouble, a crisis of some kind, do you turn to God in prayer first? How do you pray? I know I tend to give God suggestions, which he rarely takes. I know I'd love for things to work out, but that's not always his will. He's unpredictable, creative, perfect. He works everything out for good. We don't understand why it was his plan for James to be killed, or why a child dies in a car accident or a young mother gets terminal cancer. But we can know that he has a plan, and we are part of it. We can be involved when we pray. So the church was praying. What was Peter doing? He wasn't worried or anxious, pacing his cell. He wasn't even on his knees before God praying. He was asleep. Acts 12, 6 says, When Herod was about to bring him out, that night Peter was sleeping, bound with two chains between two soldiers, and the guards before the door were keeping the prison. He was ready to die, to be with the Lord. God had given him peace that passes all understanding. You see, Jesus promised to give us peace. He said, peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. That kind of peace lets you sleep before your execution. It gives you a calm assurance that you are in God's hands no matter what the circumstances. Do you have that kind of peace, or do you stay awake, worried about your problems? God never promised our problems would go away, but he did promise peace. How do you get that kind of peace? Philippians 4.6 says not to be anxious, but instead, in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, make your requests known to God. Tell God your worries and concerns and thank him for dealing with them. Then, as Philippians 4.8 says, redirect your thoughts to things that are good, holy, true, praiseworthy. Meditate on them. Then he will give you that peace that passes all understanding. You can contact us at treasurehuntintheword at gmail.com. We'd love to hear the treasures God has given you through his word. You can listen to other episodes at our website, which you can find in the description below. Thanks for listening, and remember, where your treasure is, there will your heart be also.